everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. I mentioned the NBA merch before. This one specifically is about how the NBA merch themselves is not going to be available internationally without a proxy. A proxy being like uh, Mercari or uh, uh, buy to buy or, you know, any one of those things where basically you have someone buy it for you in Japan, and then ship it to you. So that's the only way that you're going to actually be able to do it. Hololive doesn't do that. Hololive sometimes makes you buy through a proxy, but you can do it anywhere else. Um, but Hololive in general tries to make it available around the world. That's why they're making the Holo, uh, Hololive USA section, because they want it to be available across the world. Um, and yeah, they're basically saying you have to actually uh, send it through a proxy. This is for security. Scary person said he beat him to the Sanji fans, so naturally they have to prioritize that stuff. Yeah, of course, that's what it is. Uh, so who's this collab for? Honestly confused why they would use Nidisanji EN and the EN people. And if they have to purchase it through a proxy, that's kind of weird. Uh, does an international include the USA? Hold on. Holy effing ladder skates. It's true. Purchasing site is only in Japanese and orders are restricted to Japan only. So you have to have someone that has a service in Japan, some kind of uh, address in Japan, and then they could send it to you through, you know, drop shipping or whatever you want to call it. That's not good. Niji Sanji is also doing something at Lock on Fleek. Uh, that is basically, hello, fellow children, type of thing. What it is, is it's a, it's a 3D uh, game show, as you can see here. This is all 3D. They're hiding the voices of the livers who are going to be there. It's like a 3D game show type of thing that Niji Sanji has. I didn't even know they had anything like this. But it's replacing another one. It's going to be like a whole entertainment situation. Supposedly going to be something positive. Uh, new games, retro games, board games, toys, manga, anime, and more. It's a general entertainment program. Didn't even know they had anything like that, but apparently they do. So, you know, good luck to them. And I hope it goes well for the, the talents involved, of course. Uh, the heck is it that name? It was like basically, you know, hello, fellow children. Um, it is replacing... Gameku, Gamelu, Gameru, which was a canceled a couple weeks ago, which is another game type show. Uh, just thought it was some sort of tech software program, not an actual entertainment program. But yes, it is an entertainment program. It's a JP only event, it seems like. Let's not forget that the harassment narrative, the security reason for, you know, the, the cancellation of the concert is purely just something pushed by the NDF, Needy Sisters. The whole narrative was invented by Needy Sister NDF. They got themselves into believing it. My point is, don't attribute the security harassment crap to Niji. I mean, of course, otherwise Niji and the Expo would have made a statement. Not to mention that they would have canceled the booth as well. If anything, almost everyone here understands it didn't come from here. More so, the only basis they have is this one screenshot from Twitter of all places. And let's just go and see what the Niji sisters have done in the past. They have done this before on anonymous message boards. Going harder on the unicorn tactics. We do not want any positive Hollow Stars posts when Vox is losing subs by the day. We need to bring back 2022 levels of stars hate. Actually, so mad they went on their personal accounts just to leech, leech off Doki Bird. How shameless can they be? I hope Cover does something about this. They're hurting the relationship between any color and them. Don't we know what they look like IRL? If we spot them at Offkai, we can confront them in person, make them pay for their crimes against our liege. So yeah, this is also things that people that are a little too wild go and do. So they've done it themselves. They basically... Everything they accuse someone else of, it's projection. Basically, everything they accuse someone else of, they've done themselves. Call it cringe. Liege, instead of going to Ofkai, best outside and touch grass. Nothing makes me cringe quite like make them pay for crimes against our liege. Yeah, which is some weirdness that they did. But remember, they've done the threats before as well. Here is a segment about Doki Bird and the extra security that she is adding because of all the crazy threats that have been received on her end. All the crazy stuff that, you know, people have been talking about, Nidhi Sanji, all that kind of stuff. Because of all that hate, has been rolling around. They're sending extra staff there. They're making sure that there's extra security there to make sure that they are safe. Over here, we have Doki Bird actually saying it. Check your emails if you applied for the Anime Expo Doki panels. You might have won a chance to attend three events. We also have extra security at the booth with my staff team attending, supervising just to make sure everybody will be safe and enjoy their time. So I can't believe I actually won something for once. I was so nervous to celebrate before I got confirmed. So it's this. The stuff that she's mentioning is this stuff here, which is of course, here we go. All the people who have, um, you know, won the meet and greet, karaoke, Q&A, all these things. All these have been confirmed by Doki themselves that that is something that they are going to be doing. Uh, the I, I buy power booth. She's doing her best to make sure everything is, is safe. 
as a CEO of her company, she is uh, the one that has to make sure everyone's safe. Nidhi can never really stop Nidhi cult face. Their dumb argument, Nidhi cancel the concert because security issue. Doki be like, then adding security personnel is something that I'm going to be doing. Of course. She can't stop winning. Nidhi sisters, what's your response? Verification not required. Here are the responses so far. Uh, single mind, brain dead. So here's the Nidhi Sandhi sisters' responses to everything that's happening. One born every minute. Hires security for herself. Spins it as for the community. Uh, she's not attending in person. She's not physically going to AX. So yes, it's for the community. Why go to the booth? No, you're not allowed to have security. No, you cannot make this S up. Anna and Niji Yen literally believe that the canceled Niji concert somehow will be performed live but remotely. Yeah, weird. Uh, so you're saying she will have no employees. The tweet was made over a month before the concert was announced. Has to be a troll, false flags. One of them, nobody is this dumb. Um, so you're saying you don't know how to read. So yeah, a lot of people are just like, they're, 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 they're really going crazy. Uh, again, with the Dookie Bird thing. Thugs are going to be patrolling the expo looking for Niji fans to harass. Oh my God. They are really trying to find anything to hate her on. Holy crap. How could she get away with this? ESL Chan, your English reps. Yes, sister. She hired armed bodyguards to protect Tablet with her Live 2D. I think she'll be using that robot monitor on wheel stuff that they use for every VTuber event. She's probably also hired SCP Foundation. That's what people are saying now. They're making fun of these sisters. Uh, you're delusional if you think Doki security guards, aka Hit Squad, wouldn't be equipped to the teeth. They're not going to be equipped with any kind of weapons. I've gone to Anime Expo in the past. I've traveled to Anime Expo and gone to it. They don't have they don't have armed security there. They have regular security guards. They don't have armed security because it's one of those things that you don't have like people to the nines, you know, dressed up that way. That's just a weird cope that they're having. It's just weirdness that they do this. Can't uh I can't like can she tone down? She makes us look bad, you know, that kind of stuff. <clears throat> she's not looks like that because she's got she's being competent. They aren't dead, so no, it's a moral duty to SND Sanji. Can't she tone down on that? She's making everyone else look bad in comparison. She needs to think about everyone else's feelings. Toki always puts her fan first. Reminder that Wanidi Sanji made sure the NBA merch would not ship outside of Japan. Doki moved mountains to ensure that both her U2s and regular merch would be able to ship to anywhere that they needed it. So yeah, Doki Bird winning, Nidhi Sanji losing. Fortunately for Doki Bird, unfortunately for Nidhi's sisters and people who love Nidhi Sanji. Bit of an overview on what went on in uh, the cover shareholder meeting. They are going to be, you know, VStats. We'll do a live coverage from a former series of tweets. Be sure to stay tuned. Uh, link to the account if you need to right here. The meeting seems to have started. You can take this as an update mega thread for the coverage. Feel free to reply and comment contributing. The updates are regarding Ian's expansion policy. In light of difficulties faced by other companies, mainly Nidhi Sanji, I'm guessing. The company is mindful of the culture and customs of each country and is mindful of ensuring that its talents can work with peace of mind that they can operate globally. This is another update. Question two, what are your thoughts on shareholder returns? The VTuber market is still growing, so we will prioritize investing in the business. We want to work to increase our corporate value. So yeah, they want investor returns. Uh, it looks like they're not going for buybacks or anything like that. Another update regarding Hollow Pro's management policy. We consider foreign talent to be an important business. So that's good. They're going for uh, foreign talent, they're going for foreign investment, foreign things, which is basically what Nidhi Sandi is saying they're not going to do. Our thoughts on supporting our talents, we provide support for managing their health, such as covering cost of health checkups, appropriate according to the situation. So they are supporting their talents, as they show here. On the day of the question, I asked about the health of Representative Tanigo, and he said that he's been on a diet and there are no problems. Basically, they're asking, you know, making sure the CEO is in good health because that can affect negatively the uh the appearance of the company if the ceo is not doing well yago explain the details of financial results um it says question five cover usa is scheduled to be established in july with no delays a company mainly for b2b basically you know border to border i guess you know buy to buy basically a company mainly meant meant for um merch from what i understand question seven new studios operating properly we are working to improve the environment so that the talent can broadcast on their own regarding the future direction of hiring new talents we have set a strategic direction for new talents, but we will refrain from giving specific answers. So they said, remember before, they said that they are going to be holding things down for a bit, not bringing too many new talents in, not like doing meat wave things, but instead investing in the current talents that they have or the current talents that they are going to be having. Next one regarding EN's expansion policy and light of difficulties faced by other companies. Companies mindful of the culture and customs, like they said before, ensuring that talents can work with peace of mind so that they can operate globally. All these things pop up, all these different updates. You have different ones, uh, establish an ecosystem to give back to creators involved in derivative works, which is basically like the hollow indie stuff, that type of thing. Regarding future IR activities, investor relations. We clearly communicate our expensive, our expansion policy as growth company, prepare for the expansion of 
investor relation activities. Uh, appropriate compensation levels for employees who are not satisfied with their compensation levels. So they're going to be actually um, doing more uh, negotiations to get compensation correct because they don't want to lose talents just because of compensation. And they compensate better than Nidhi Sandhi because they actually give a base salary. Regloss aims to become top K-pop idol group. Uh, so why are they active? In, why aren't they active in Korea? First time I've heard of it though. Uh, they're aiming to work as a unit and currently have no plans to work in Korea. So I guess someone made a mistake about the, the regloss being K-pop. Um, someone just had a weird idea of that, I guess. We will take appropriate measures against external attacks and information leaks to make sure that there are no leaks. Development of Hollow Earth is progressing smoothly, which is good. There are no KPIs to disclose. You know, regarding the risk of personal information leaks in other companies, Brave Group, we believe that there is no problem with our company using forms made by other companies, Google Forms. And of course, former shareholders meeting, you can vote for or against resolutions, that kind of stuff. Hollow plus development progresses properly. Regarding Ian's suspension policy in light of difficulties faced, you know, that type of thing. We already read that. There's other things happening. Here is um, the management policy for and talent to be an important business part. And of course, he also said in the investor relations meeting that it would not just give money away for share buybacks. It's there's no intention to distinguish shareholders from ordinary fans by offering Hollow Life merch and live tickets, shareholder benefits, cover USA, North America base is established this fall, has the potential to grow on the same scale as a head office in Japan. Shareholder questions overseas expansion efforts to avoid making the same mistake as other companies. Regarding the idea of shareholder returns, buybacks, etc., the first priority is to focus on investments in the VTuber market, at which they are see as a growing market and expected to continue to grow. So they are saying they are not going to take the Niji Sanji route of doing share buybacks because they want to use that money to actually increase investments in growing their VTuber uh, business, which is the smart thing to do. So that's basically a direct dig at what Niji Sanji did, which is which I love. Here we go, showing a little bit of difference between Riku, Tazumi, and Yago. Yago actually plays Uno with uh, the the new talents when they went and met him, which is a strange thing to do. But let's hear and see what happens. Okay. Question. How you went? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. We did actually! All of us did! It was so cool! It was really that was cool. It was really cool! Um uh, that was that was so cool. I so so we so we all met we all met him. Thank you very much for meeting us. Thank you! Thank you for meeting justice! Yes, <laughs> yes, thank you. you. <laughs> it was really nice. And we we um we um we played it. <laughs> we played oh no. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but we use like really stupid house rules. Like I remember I asked, I specifically asked, okay, what rules are we using? Guys, guys, what what rules do you want us to use? Please, please tell us the rules. I need the rules. And they were like, oh, just, you know, normal rules. And then let's do this rule. And they did a rule where whenever someone does plus two, the person next to them can also do plus two and then becomes plus four. You know what happened? The game didn't end. <laughs> oh no. Just kept getting like, plus four, plus like four, plus four. Hour or something. Just constantly plus doing each other. Some of us had like 30 cards or something. The game just wouldn't end. It just, it just didn't end. It was awful. It was. That's great. That's, like I said, big change between Yago and um, Riku Tazumi. It's crazy. He's the CEO of a publicly traded company and he takes the time to sit down and play Uno with his new employees. The amount of time and effort Yago spends on his talents is unbelievable. That's why we love him. That's why he's the best girl. And that's why the talents are fiercely loyal to the company. They defend the company. They're fiercely loyal. They don't leave unless it's absolutely necessary or they get terminated, things like that. Um, because of the fact that there is so much that they get from just being a part of the company. Love it. Love to see it. We have a meme with the Roa thing that they have. Use the Goroa. Am I really going to defile this grave uh, for money? Of course I am. That's Niji Sanji. Of course they will. That's Riku Tazumi. Of course he's going to defile the grave and for money. What they're saying about the grave is that Yuzuki Roa has not been around for like the last three or four years. At least streaming for at least at least three years they haven't been streaming. Or doing anything on their Niji Sanji account. So it's kind of like, you know, reviving the dead just to get some money. Which is never a positive thing. Here we have a little bit of a meme situation again. About uh, the stock buyback. It's like EN, $7.5 billion stock buyback. Uh, to satisfy investors and um, expense for measures to carry on the concerts to satisfy fans. It's negligible. It's like, no, 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 not going to do that. Of course not, because that's not what they do. They don't do anything to actually, you know, help 
the livers or help the fans. They just do whatever they can to make investors happy because that brings in more investments overall. Mari Yume, a person that I follow myself and that I have seen them do a lot of wonderful things for the VTuber community. And, you know, talking about different aspects of the VTuber community. They are a very wonderful person to watch. And, um, you know, I support them fully. They have gotten their play button. They're at 100K. It is a wonderful thing. When I saw it happen, when I saw her get to 100K, I was really happy for her. Of course, you know, like I mentioned, they are one of the, the positive members of the VTuber community. There aren't very many out there that are big and positive, but this is one of those that is big and positive, and I'm very happy to know her. And the source, of course, is Mari over here. So underrated, she has great vids streaming in general, as well as VTubing. Uh, she's been around for a long time and still working hard. Definitely deserves more. And right here, says, still can't believe this. Every day I'm thankful of everyone in this amazing community. Of course, like a meme background back there too. Star Underhill, thank you very much deserved. Proud of you, Mari. Thank you, very, uh, Bestie. The Owl Bestie. She's friends with Underhill. That does not mean anything at all. It's just people are friends with people who are they going to be friends with. I know in, in the anti niji community, Underhill is seen as, you know, a specific side of people you don't want. But they don't seem to be doing anything negative towards others. So I don't say anything negative towards them. Uh, big time congrats. Let's go, Mari. Congratulations, of course. Proud of them. I'm very proud that they were able to achieve this, and I'm very happy that they were able to get it. Sayu has been putting out a bit of breadcrumbs here and there, of course, letting everyone know, everyone in her community know, that uh, she is moving on to an agency. There's an agency who has accepted her and has let her make the contract however she wants, let the lawyer look at the contract. Let's hear exactly what she has to say for us today. One of the, one of the things that you guys knew I really wanted, you know, joining you know, a company or things like that. Uh, you know, maybe, maybe that might be happening, ago. you know, sometime in um, a while, you know, a little while. It's going to be a little while, but, you know, things things will probably be happening. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not against, I'm not barred from sharing this, so amen. I'm, I'm, I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret. That's not so much a secret, okay? This is, well, it's a secret, but I can say it, okay? Um... Just then, it's good, guys, to uh, find. You know, I've never seen, I I've never seen an agency do this, but um, I'll let you, in, you let you guys in on a little secret here, because you guys have been so nice today. Okay. I may have found an agency that lets that that basically said no. They didn't basically say they did say this. I found an agency that said, go ahead and have your lawyer make the revisions that we've agreed on. So we agreed on a bunch of revisions and a bunch of really good negotiations. So they agreed on revisions. The, she let the lawyers, uh, like the agency had let the lawyers do this. I don't know of any Chinese agency that does that. Maybe NOA really wants them. If it is that they're going to NOA, or it could be Face Connect. It could be another agency that we know of that is also really good with uh, contracts. It could be Idol EN. It could be any one of those. Uh, FaZe is one of the ones that a lot of people think is a little bit more likely because of FaZe Invaders. That is something that FaZe Connect does have. And here is something that's popped up recently. Sheena says, if you guys wonder what I do in my spare time, watch cooking shows and gaslight myself into thinking I'm a cooking and baking god, then I just make tons of food and force my friends and neighbors to eat it. Basically, sorry for not streaming right now. Where's my free food? I cook for you. Yay, score. That could just be friends. It could be friendliness because remember, she has uh, been very friendly with Face Connect recently. A lot of people are hoping it's FaZe, but it could be the NOA agency that I mentioned before. It is a lot of speculation. This one is pure speculation because she hasn't even said it yet. We will only know 100% until she's out there, but breadcrumbs are spread everywhere right now. When remembers Brave Group slash um, Vispo had a humongous data leak with over seven, ever 10,000 actually, including Brave Group and everything under Brave Group, all the people that were uh, trying to get into Brave Group and Vispo and others. Uh, they had that incident on the 25th. So uh, I did mention that one on the 25th. It says we will contact each of you been confirmed to have been leaked via email address. After that, we will confirm the extent of the damage suffered by each individual and um, provide compensation for individual incident. In principle, we plan to cover the following telephone number change and relocation expenses incurred by you to the extent that they are deemed to be unavoidable expenses. In case someone had to change their address because, you know, they're at risk of some things that happen. This is very good on the part of Brave Group, and it's a lot of money on the part of Brave Group. Examples, we recover costs associated with changing your phone number. Uh, our group's audition application form asks you to write only prefecture you live in. However, for applicants who have written their entire address, we will do our best to accommodate you depending on your specific situation. And uh, for people, for other incidents, we'll respond each one piecemeal, of course. Future measures continue to carefully investigate the cause of information leak so that they can get the, if there was a leaker, so that they can get rid of the leaker. Regarding the process of investigation, we will disclose 
the appropriate information as soon as new facts come out. Very good on the part of Brave Group. They have to get out, out, out in front of this. They have to make sure that they have positive um, PR on this, and that's what they're doing. And of course, here we have some things um, in regards to more AX stuff, Anime Expo for Doki Bird. Uh, Doki Bird's Tomato Farm right here. Uh, join Noms Booth 520 and Doki Bird at Anime Expo next week for special events supporting Food Banks Canada. Uh, support our cause to fight hunger. Every contribution allows you to plant and stick a tomato, a sticker, onto Doki's tomato farm. Let's fill it up. So they're doing it for charity. Of course, Doki's going to be doing things for charity. Doki's always been someone that's been doing for things for charity. She had a humongous charity thing before and, of course, has one now, um, which is amazing to see. I'm very glad that she has it. Super excited to see. Uh, Baby and I have a little surprise for the special event. Vivid Vision. Uh, everyone's, you know, basically being very, very happy for this. Tomato is going to be everywhere in the AAX. Uh, good to see you supporting more charities. Damn, pulling out all the stops. Absolutely pulling out all the stops on this one. And love seeing it. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.